Morning. Good morning. Monday the 21st of October, in the year of our Lord, 2019. Who's your Lord? Yeah, Annika Rice. No, that's my Lord. <laughs> you can't steal my Lord. Where are we going? What are we doing? Uh, we're going to Norwich, my what, hometown. What are we doing there? Uh, we're on the Norwich 90 service. The London to Norwich in 90 minutes. There's only yeah. four a day. We'll explain that when we get going. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do something which we failed to do on all the stations in 2017. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't realise. <laughs> which is... We're going to get a boat. From Felixstowe, we're going to hop on the boat across to Harwich. All will become clear. To the trains and boats? <laughs> All of the modes of transport. We need a map, so I've got my pen uh, and some blank paper. So I should draw the line. Uh, London, Liverpool Street, OST, uh, and Norwich. Uh, Ipswich is there. There's a train every half an hour. There's a fast one on the hour, I think. And then on the half hour, there's one that stops at about five, six, seven other additional stops. But generally, it takes one hour, orange pen, one hour and 50 minutes uh, to do the journey between London and Norwich and then back in May of this year 2019 they brought in Greater Anglia, hello, brought in what they call the Norwich 90 also sort of subtitled the Ipswich 60 and what there is that there's just four trains two in each direction so at Pinkpen so at 9am in the morning one leaves Norwich and it only stops at Ipswich and then gets to Liverpool Street by 10.30 and then at 11am it then goes back, takes 55 minutes to get to Ipswich and is then uh, in Norwich by 12.30? Yes, by 12.30. Uh, and then they do the same again in the evening. So one leaves Norwich at 5 o'clock, is in London by half past 6 uh, and then it leaves London at 7 o'clock and is in Norwich uh, by 8.30. So, uh, so we're timing it on my watch and we're going to see whether we do actually hit Ipswich switch on 55 minutes and Norwich in 90 minutes. It's a Norwich 90 service. It is 11 to, 11 to 5 and right on time, 55 minutes, which is under the 60, the Ipswich 60, we're pulling into Ipswich. What is the Ipswich North, Norfolk rivalry all about? What? Sorry, Ipswich Norwich, Norwich. rivalry. It's just a football club. Oh, it's a football thing? Yeah. All right. Do you really care? No. We're pulling out at 11.58. I think we should make it. Oh, it's just ticked over. Yeah. All right. So we might be like a minute or two late, but essentially that's an hour and a half. It's coming up on, it's 12.30 now, approaching Norwich. Yep. It's so fast. <laughs> I nearly forgot to go to the buffet and get a cup of tea. Oh. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. Don't lean out though. Don't lean out. It still says BR on it. Pretty sure. Please do check. All personal ones with you. And please retain all travel tickets. So you can exit through the barriers. It's still raining. <laughs> Where's our next train, Jeff? Uh, well, we came in, what, two, three minutes down? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. We're going to get... The one o'clock? Please make your way towards the waiting room by platform number one at AMT Coffee Shop for train down. There will be a bus replacement service for those of you who missed the connection. So good. What number train are we on? Uh, it's a class 90 loco. Okay, the plan is we are back on the train. We're heading to Ipswich. We're going to Felixstowe. We're going to get the boat uh, because we didn't do it last time in 2017. What happened last time um, is we got to Colchester. Do you remember we met the lovely Andy um, at Walton on the Nays? and he took us in his car to Clacton, back up to Colchester. Then we got the train to Harwich. Harwich, where we stayed for about 20 seconds. We turned round, we went back again, we went to Ipswich, 
then we got the train to Felixstowe. Um, but what we could have done, we didn't know, we could have saved ourselves so much time. We could have got the boat from Harwich across to Felixstowe. As if on cue, I'm like Norwich and this, pulling in on the opposite platform. Like you can see it in the reflection already there. Like, <laughs> like is oh, the new 745. <laughs> Just what we do. The driver says, Stephen, that the, the new three car Stadlers will definitely come to this line. When? Give us a date, Stephen. That's a piece of string job, I'm afraid. But they're, they're in <laughs> How progress. long is they're a piece of tested. string? They're, they're they are coming. being tested. So. Well, you missed the 153. There has been one here. The, the one has come down. Yeah, they've root proved it, so uh, we, fingers crossed it shouldn't be too long. Do you like these old beasts, or do you look forward to I the new? I'm looking forward to the new ones, but these will be missed, I think, to be honest. Yeah. There's not many people that actually like them. It is time for a boat. What I haven't told you is that it's not like the boat is like there. We've, oh yeah. We've got to work out how to get to the boat. Oh yeah. Jeff explores. Ready? That's Rick, our very friendly taxi driver, who works in shipping around his life, and he's telling us that over there that boat is a. Uh, is it like a twenty thousand TEU? I don't know what TEU stands for. It's some kind of technical shipping term. But there's a fort over there, there's a viewing point, and basically people come here to go to the cafe, tea anyone, and just watch the giant container ships uh, come in and out. Thanks Rick. That's it. Uh, Jeff Explorer's finished. I'm going to get a coffee and we got half an hour to the boat. We're not quite sure where we're supposed to get the ferry. Um, I think you asked in the cafe and they said it's a flag on the beach. I don't know, I think it's going to be here somewhere. Really? I don't know. It's not, it's not obvious, is it? It's really not obvious. The boat's not here, but I definitely have a confirmation. It says press 1 to find out if the ferry's operating today. Saying no service today, even though yeah. I have a booked ticket paid yeah. for today. They've got a Twitter, do you want to tweet them? I do want to tweet them. So Harry's foot there, you've sold me a ticket and taken my num uh, money and given me a booking reference only for there to be no boat. Which means we can't get to Harwich. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why you're pointing the camera at me, I just said I don't know what to say. That's so bizarre that even if they changed the date they wouldn't get in touch and tell you. You would assume that that would be the thing to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving Jeff <laughs> to uh, contact the ferry uh, people. And uh, I'm going to do a very, very impromptu, and I know I said that on the last video, but this is even more <laughs> impromptu. Um, there's a fort here, right next uh, to Felixstowe Harbour, so uh, let's see what we can find out. I've come into what's called the Capanier, I think that's how I say it, um, and it's a low level passage um, at the base of the walls and it has what I would call arrow loops but they would have been used for rifles, um, so if any enemies had come up to the wall, uh, defenders could fire out of these uh, windows, these slits, uh, to prevent people from scaling, scaling up the wall and into the fort that way. music you can hear in the background uh, is a short film created a couple of years ago when a group of reenactors came to the fort to recreate what happened in 1667 when 800 Dutch soldiers arrived on the shores here and tried to invade England via Langford. Uh, luckily the fort held strong um, and the Dutch retreated uh, back across the English Channel. It's 
really sort of damp and windy. Um, but here goes. There's been a fort here at Langard for over 400 years, part of the coastal defences uh, in this part of Britain. During the Second World War, the fort played a number of different roles. It protected merchant ships as they came in and out of the country, and they also helped to send information about enemy planes that were coming over the country, and even helped to shoot some down as well. I think Jeff's coming back to do something funny. Can I help you? <laughs> uh, on the train home? Yep. How did you enjoy Harridge? I really liked it. It's just that we got so close in 2017, <laughs> but didn't do it. We got a tiny bit closer than <laughs> We'd failed to do it again today. So it's not the fact that, you know, it's the money or the time. It's the fact that we've got to go back and do it again. So at some point... Um, if we just go straight to Harwich. We'll next time we just go straight, straight to, to, Harwich. to Harwich. But we went to the fort. I did go to the fort. We went on the Norwich 90. Yeah. We got to see some new trains. Yeah. That's all good. So, so this, we, in a way, when something goes wrong, you end up having a little sort of adventure because you wouldn't have gone to the fort had had the boat been running. No, so that's true. Could put a positive spin on it and uh, think of it that way. It's a good fort. It's a good fort. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks very much. <laughs> you you say interesting witty things now to amuse and entertain the oh. YouTube audience. Um, if you had an <laughs> otter in one hand and a chicken in the other, what would be heavier? The otter. That's obvious. That's an off-camera joke. Vote now, <laughs> otter or chicken. Next time? Okay, bye. We're so excited.